What's up guys? Today we find ourselves at Sean's house. Uh, we're gonna work on the Subaru again today. Uh, I'm finally replacing this wheel stud back here. I got a new one in, so we're gonna go ahead and replace it. And then I've also got a uh, gasket for the up pipe because I don't know if you've heard in the last video, um, the exhaust has a terrible leak in it. So I've got the new gasket for it. So it should go back to normal and sound like a good normal working car, hopefully. I know it's been a minute since I've filmed anything, but I've just been working all the time and it's too hot in Texas. It's been like 100, 110 degrees every single week and I just have not wanted to do anything. So that's that's my bad. But today I've got a couple things planned uh, for the car. Uh, obviously a wheel stud first off and the gasket second off. I'm also going to try and adjust the coilovers a little bit and get the right out a little lower and then uh, fix the spring rate because the previous owner who installed the coilovers did a terrible job at it. So I'll show you how to adjust them. I'm sure there's plenty of other YouTube videos out there that you can watch, but this is what I'm gonna do to try to fix it or get it adjusted to where it needs to be. The spring rate in the, uh, in the car is really bad. There's a lot of clicking in the rear. I was gonna pull the coilovers off and try to adjust it that way, but I don't really want to pull the coilovers because that's just going to take too much time and it's already hot as hell out here anyway. Um, hi, Sean. But we're going to go ahead and just try to adjust it on the car, so take the wheels off, and we've got to pull the front tire and front, or front wheel and rear wheel off anyway to replace the gasket and the wheel stud, so, so wait, might as well work on coilovers so while we're at it. What's up? We have something to fix over here. Uh-huh. And something to fix over here. Yeah. Just do this side first? Yeah, I was just saying, did you just want to do this side first? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. You should tell Kenny to get his fine booty up here. He's working. So? Oh yeah, Sean does exist. Sean has just been working a lot and like I said, I haven't been filming so I've been able to come over of here. Of course but... I exist. <laughs> hey, you're the one who left the comment. Where's that Sean guy, so. All right, so what he's doing, since the spring rate is, you know, messed up, we're not adjusting spring rate on this one because I've already done it uh, previously. I'll show you how to do it on the rear. But we are going to go ahead and lower the coilover just a little bit. We're going to make it flush with the bottom of this all the way around. So the height should be the same all the way around. And then we'll just adjust the, uh, the spring rate and it should be okay. So hopefully... Hopefully the height is good after that. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna work on taking this little bastard off. It's so messed up, uh, but I gotta take the Brembo off first. So we'll get that done here in a second. All right, so yeah, we've got good news and bad news. Good news is that's fixed and the Brembo came off, but bad news is there is a bolt stuck there and a bolt stuck back there. So I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna get those out. I think we're gonna go to the store and get a reverse drill bit and just try to drill it out. I didn't wanna do this, but the previous owner just sucked at what he did. Um, he replaced a lot of the stuff in the rear and I'm guessing he over tightened everything and didn't use the proper lubrication or anything like that to keep it from seizing and it just snapped. Um, so I'm a little irritated, but this is what the, the nut and bolt look like. The other one's somewhere on the ground. Uh, Sean's gonna go ahead and adjust this coilover, I guess, since he's already working on it. And then hopefully we'll figure out how to get the bolts out of the Brembo, because I don't want to get new ones. I wouldn't have to, but I just, I don't want to work on it anymore. I'm tired of this car. I'm filthy. Sean's also the same way right now. We both hate this car. We're talking about this one, right? Yeah, spin that one all the way up. Okay. Oh, and just turn this and one and then turn that one, and, that one in yeah, there. and turn that one until you can fit the 10 millimeters of that in there. That's what she said. Perf. I've been watching a lot of Office, okay? Michael Scott's a pervert. It squeaks when you bang it. <laughs> there, that's 10 millimeters. Cool, and now you can just spin up the bottom one. And that's- Lock it down. That's 10 millimeters of spring rate. How scientific that is. I don't know. Right, well as he finishes lowering that coilover, I'm just gonna work on the up pipe gasket. So that's my up pipe and my up pipe gasket. As you can tell, ooh, it's so shaking. There's a hole right there where the gasket is destroyed. Um, and also I found out that it's loose. Which is kind of a good thing because, ow, my head. Which is kind of a good thing 
because now it's going to be a lot easier to actually pull the up pipe off or at least the gasket off and it's not going to be completely stripped and seized on there so that's a good thing oh that was fast bottom <laughs> this is all the gaskets that's left are you sure for the most part yeah i'm double checking there's a little bit on the bottom this is it. That's all that's left. Two pieces. Change of plans. To make this easier, we're just going to remove that whole hub part assembly and just rotate the bottom. Okay, I'm hoping it'll work. Okay, well, I kind of quit. I'm tired of it. It pisses me off. We're going to go get a uh, PB blaster to get the coilover and strut to where it will move. Right now it's seized along with everything else in the rear. I'm really starting to hate this project. I wish that I didn't start it because every time we touch this rear side, something happens. Something. Literally. Something. Always. Last time it was the, the lug nut right. and the uh, the wheel stud strip broken. This time, this strip broke. That's basically seized. It's stupid. I don't want to touch it. We still haven't even touched the other side. I'm so frustrated. This is stupid. Well, the other side should be an easy fix. There's no up pipe to fix and there's no stud to replace. We just got to get in there, adjust the coilovers. That's it. Yeah. That's 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 all we I adjusted that in like five minutes. Yeah, that one that one looks good. That actually looks really low. I'm excited. I'm hoping that whenever it does it is all said and done, it looks really low. Like so it. it looks pretty low, which makes me happy. I think this is the lower side, the other side is higher. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. New bolts, extractor kit, PB blaster that he's using right now. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I'm just done. I don't care anymore. I'm just done. Sean, you can have my car if this doesn't work. Shit, okay. <laughs> Part out. Fuck yeah. After hours of trying to take this apart and figure it out with the stupid nuts or bolts that are broken off in there, it still doesn't come apart or still doesn't come out. So we're on our way to Kenny's shop because he's got a drill press. We're just going to drill out the hole and then retap it and hopefully use the bolts that I already bought I also learned that my rear coilover is seized, so that sucks. I'm not going to be able to adjust those like I was hoping I would, but that's okay. I guess I'll just buy bags. I don't know. That's what I'd rather do is buy bags. Bags are stupid. You're stupid. Actually, my car is stupid. I hate my car. Man, you want it. You want your car to work, but you want to throw something so technical in. stock suspension in my storage building. I'll just put WRX stock suspension on my car. Okay, no, don't do that because that stuff's true. That, that is mild suspension and that stuff is trash. Like, <sighs> you have no idea how bad that stuff was. I'm so pissed off. This is stupid. This is supposed to be an easy replacement. The wheel stud, which we got replaced. That was kind of easy. What's the, what's the smart term for salt? For salt? Hi, Kenny. Oh my god. Yep. Can We're just gonna drill it. straight through and then somehow get the other, that other one out. Careful, Kenny, there's, there's Black Widows over here. She called us. Yeah. Yeah, I should just ignore her. She okay. Hasn't taken her medication. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be sure to leave that in the video. Could have gone wrong, kind of did. And I don't know if you can hear that clunking, that clunking in the rear. I'm pretty sure is from the spring rate in the uh, in the coilover, which I 
can't really adjust any of the coilovers. I can adjust the spring rate, and I think the passenger side is good now, I hope. Um, but I think the passenger side is good now, just because it doesn't sound as clunky as it used to before. Like before, it was really bad, like the car's falling apart. So I think we fixed the passenger side, so that that's good. Um, other good news is we got the upside gasket on, and oh my god, it sounds amazing again. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good sound clip or anything. Exhaust is actually going all the way to the back now instead of to the side of my fender. I mean, everything seems to be working okay-ish. I still need to adjust everything on this side, but that Brembo took way too long to fix and I'm so pissed off. But I'm on the way home. I'll meet you at the house and uh, I'll just end it at the house. I'm, I want to drive for a little bit because I want to hear the noise of this car that I haven't heard in months. So I'm just going to play around with the car for a little bit and then I'll see you at the house. Well, I'm home now, obviously, and it's another day, um, like a day later, two days later, something like that. As you can tell, you know, from the video, I'm not too happy with how the situation went, but you know, it's it's all good. Uh, we got everything taken care of and fixed, other than the coilovers being seized, and you know, uh, with that, I might have to upgrade coilovers, which isn't all bad. Uh, I'm thinking of either doing BCs or doing bags, but bags will probably be like way on later in the future. Um, Sorry if you hear a bunch of kids. It's my brother's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Alex, by the way. Um, and his uh, his daughter is here along with my dad, which I should be out there hanging out, but I'm busy editing. Um, it's almost done. I just got to add this clip in and then maybe music. I don't know if I'm gonna put music in, but it's almost done. But I'm having some mixed feelings with the Subaru. I'm thinking about maybe letting it go. Uh, I will be in Dallas uh, next weekend. I'm um, going to Six Flags with a bunch of friends, so actually I'm going to vlog that, so that's going to be really fun for uh, video too. And uh, maybe go look at cars in Dallas, I don't know yet, that's a big possibility. Uh, I've got a couple of options that I'm thinking about. I'm just wanting something new and something different. Uh, I don't know if it's a big change of plans for me or, or what. I don't know, it's just I'm not feeling the Subaru anymore. I'm tired of doing like these maintenance stuff, which granted you have to do that with every single car. It's just. I want a new platform. I've had it for two years, and it's been a fun platform. I just want something different. Still boosted, obviously, still boosted. But I kind of want to go right-hand drive. So I have a couple options that I'm thinking about. Uh, go ahead and leave it down in the comment below what you think uh, I should get or uh, what do you think that I'm looking at in general. Uh, like I said, right-hand drive. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, a couple of my friends know what it is. Uh, don't be the first people to put that in the comment section, but some of y'all actually know what I'm gonna get or what I'm gonna look at. But I haven't decided yet. I just wanna go look and maybe test drive some and then maybe think about selling the STI, maybe. I really like it, I really enjoy it. It's just, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just thinking about switching it up. I've I don't know. That's it. Again, sorry for not uploading any videos these past couple of weeks. I, like I said, it's just been too hot and I've been too busy and I just, honestly, I haven't wanted to film. I just wanted to relax uh, because it's been so hot. So here I am filming again. I'm getting back into it. I know I'm slacking. Uh, leave me alone. But I'm coming back and I'll be filming the Six Flex trip like I said earlier. So that's going to be kind of fun. I'm just excited to see what the future holds for more videos. I've got a couple things planned with the Subaru before I think about letting it go. We'll just, we'll just keep keep it in the loop for now, and then go from there. <laughs> All right, if y'all stay till the end, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like I said, go ahead and comment below what you think the next car is, or if I should even get another car, or what the right-hand drive car will be. Also, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you enjoy the channel. I make content every once in a while. I'll be honest, it's every once in a while. Um, but it's all car content, and it's all car related, and I'm gonna try to mix it up and do some other stuff too. So just stay tuned for that. All right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.